Ukraine is on an irreversible path to NATO membership, affirmed its outgoing Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg at the three-day summit in Washington, D.C. NATO members who are favoring a faster membership track for Ukraine included the word irreversible in the joint declaration to demonstrate that Kiev has moved closer to entry into the alliance since last year's summit. Speaking to reporters, Stoltenberg outlined the alliance's plans to aid Ukraine in the year ahead. We will support Ukraine by planning and coordinate, coordinating donations and will manage the transfer and repair of equipment. We will also provide support to the long-term development of Ukraine's armed forces. This will not make NATO party to the conflict, but it will help Ukraine to uphold its right to self-defense. NATO pledged a $43 billion worth of military aid to Ukraine in 2025. We have agreed that 40 billion euros is a minimum baseline within the next year and to ensure sustainable funding for Ukraine to prevail. We also agreed to review this at our summit in 2025, not least to ensure it continues to meet Ukraine's needs. We are not doing this uh, because we want to prolong a war. We are doing this because we want to end the war as soon as possible. In a big boost for Ukraine, U.S., Netherlands and Denmark announced that the first NATO-provided F-16s were on the way to Kiev and would be flying this summer following months of preparations. Now, During the summit, NATO gave a stern warning to China over its alleged assistance to Russia in the war against Ukraine. In a joint declaration, the 32-member military alliance blamed Beijing for fueling Moscow's aggression against Kiev. The joint declaration read, and I'm quoting here, we call on the PRC as a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council with a particular responsibility to uphold the purposes and principles of the UN Charter to seize all material and support to Russia's war effort, unquote. Meanwhile, another yet unpredictable challenge lies ahead of NATO. The possibility of another U.S. administration led by Donald Trump the Republican Party's nominee has consistently sent mixed signals about his commitment to collective defense. NATO members are seen as wanting a Trump-proof military aid for Ukraine ahead of Trump's possible re-election later this year. And well, for more on this, our correspondent Susan Therani has sent us this report from New York. Take a look. NATO leaders were reassured by Joe Biden's strong speech at the alliance's 75th anniversary summit, but doubts about his re-election persist among those same allies. Reports indicate that delegations are now meeting with former President Donald Trump's advisors to prepare for a potential Trump victory, which could impact NATO as well as Ukraine. European officials are increasingly pessimistic about President Biden's chances despite publicly praising his speech. They are watching for any gas, particularly during that solo press conference, which is scheduled for Thursday, which could further erode his electoral hopes. And with Donald Trump leading in the polls, ally doubts are growing and are possibly already looking for plan B. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One.